Create a gamer eye on FPV out sadly at the split two finals, um, but a good a good set of matches, uh, a challenging track that's really kind of made everything very difficult for people. Ion, you're pretty pleased with the team and you're so you should be with your own performance. Yeah, I mean, we did a good job. End of the day, it's not the result we wanted, but you know, it's drone racing, it happens. Uh, we count our losses and we go on. Yeah. And I am ex exceptionally pleased, pleased with the team. The way we have performed the entire season, I mean, coming third in split two was amazing. Yeah. The, some of the races we had were super, super close. It came down to like hundredths of a second and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm really proud and I would like to see if there's still a chance that we make it to the well, super final. True. Yeah. That is true, yes. Yeah. yeah. So we want to see what happens there. And if not next season, we're going to even practice even harder and come back stronger, you know. Craig, you've been with the team for a few seasons now. What's changed within the team, which has meant that China Dragons... I mean, not just Split 2's been your best. Split 1 was great. Last year was your best season to date. Every time you've, you've improved. What's going on? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, with the team, we train a lot. And I mean, you always improve. And there are new people which bring new uh, kinds of uh, thoughts in the team. And... I mean, last season, for example, Ion created a lot of tracks for us to practice on when we were like, okay, we need some more technical tracks. Ion built them and we grinded that and flew it in training. So that was very awesome. And it changes with new pilots. Yeah. Some go, some come. But in general, more practice. You get better and better. And the team has been performing very well this year even though we lost Star, yeah. which was a big loss, but yeah. uh, we recovered very well and made it P3 in Split 2, which was very nice and kind of unexpected, but it was... Very Why unexpected? Nice. Yeah, you know, we have always been P4. Like, or lower, yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. P4 max. So coming third was very unexpected, okay. but yeah, we were very happy, of course. Uh, that the training, uh, training paid off, but yeah, it was an awesome split. A sign that everything is going in the right direction. You, um, you mentioned there about the changes in the team. Yeah, when you lost Star, that's Star 23467 who moved to X-Blades, I was worried for you guys because he had been very important, not just the captain of the team, but outright like, points hauler for the team, just scoring and scoring and scoring. So when you lost him, I did think, ooh, that was a change I wasn't expecting. Uh, I know he was very happy at China Dragons, and he's told me it wasn't anything about China Dragons. It was just an opportunity to race for X-Blades. Um, yeah, so that was a surprise. But you've recovered. Like, no, not recovered. Yeah. Moved on. Moved on, and so well. Um, and you say about new pilots coming in. chryson has been brilliant. You race with him a lot. Um, you've got a few other pilots that you're sort of cycling as around. We see Kenny occasionally as well. And uh, Duona, last yeah. year... Just a nine-year-old superstar from China who was in the DCL Women's Cup last year. Are we ever going to see her in these races as well? Oh, I hope so. I hope yeah. so. She has been awesome. She's very fast. And it was very nice that we were able to put her in the Grand Prix and yeah. make her fly in the wheel uh, thing. I mean, she destroyed everyone in the last uh, Women's Cup. I mean, except for Silent. But that's okay. <laughs> But she did awesome, and we were so happy that uh, she could make a fly in the uh, Grand Prix, and she did very well. So I really hope we could see her next year yeah. as well. That would be awesome. And Kriya was just praising you for the tracks you designed. So what do you know about track design? Where does that come from? I mean, I did, I did game development before, so I kind of know how to generally make a track and I always made like the most craziest funky tracks and it was good like it was a challenge nobody knew how to fly it which is a good thing because what annoys you the most also teaches you the most so okay. yeah uh, at the end of the day I think it really helped us really think about our lines how we can do stuff differently and it also helped us strategize and I think that this year especially our strategies have been good especially with matchups and all that yeah. and that's what get, is getting us the points is that a team decision? Is that everybody putting in on, you know, do you say I want to fly this with this pilot or is there management making these decisions for you? Uh, bit of both. So we, we always like 
look at everybody like okay what do you prefer what do you what would you like but then also um me and Ronnie sit sit yeah. for like an hour and two hours and be like, okay, what is the other team going to do? We do the exact opposite of that. And uh, yeah. how often do you get that right? Out of interest. I mean, this season, I think many times hey. because like most of the races, we kind of predicted. We what we want to do is we want to put our fastest pilots against, let's say, their not fastest pilots, yeah. Yeah, sure. because we know that we are better as a team. If we go like fastest pilot versus fastest pilot, I don't think we could have the same result. So, but as a team, if we go together, we'll get way more points. Yeah. And I think we have done that majority of the times this time. So, we're happy. And we're in this unusual situation where you guys, last night on our stage, live in Abu Dhabi, after the stream had finished, you were obviously disappointed that you'd been eliminated. And then the team who eliminated you, Quad Force One, if they now win this finals and become the split two champions, we won't get into the numbers, but basically if Quad Force One win this, there are four spots available for our super finals in December where we will crown our world champion of the year. And if Quad Force One win this, you should be going yeah. to the super finals on maths. So it went from, oh, we've been eliminated to Quad Force One to like, Yes, Quad Force One, go win the whole thing. I've never seen that turnaround so instantly. You had a huge smile on your face when you worked that out. Yeah, it was, I mean, obviously disappointing that we lost against Quad Force, but they were on such a big streak. I mean, they won against Waden, they won against SDT, they won against us. Yeah. So we really hope they keep that momentum to today and beat Cyclone, which is hard because Cyclone has been doing very well this season as yeah. well. Yeah. But we are hoping that Quad Force can continue their streak and get us to Saudi Arabia. Well, we might see you in the Super Finals. I'd be very happy to see you there. I think you guys have really earned it with consistent performances this year. Well done, Iron. Well done, Creative Gamer. Well done, all the China Dragons.